to another real estate market breakdown with the Silver Nagel team. Previously, we did a video that took all the sales statistics from 2011 to 2013 to find out which month was the best time to sell my house. Boy, I think that's the most important question to get an answer to. Absolutely. So today what we're going to do is we're going to put together those three years of stats, add 2014, so that today you'll know the best decision to make. So let's start with which month had the highest sale price among all those years as we break it down. So in 2011, the month with the highest average sale price was the month of May. In 2012, it was the month of April. In 2013, it went back to May. And in 2014, we saw a big push in the fall, and it was October that had the highest average sale price. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Now, the opposite of that, of course, is when what months of the year had the lowest average sale price. And in 2011, it was January. And in 2012, it was January. In 2013, it was January. And in 2014, what would be your guess? I'm going to go on a limb and say it was March. No, you're wrong. <laughs> it was January again. As you can tell by the chart behind me, the trends each year are very similar. We start out, as Cease was mentioning, in January with the lowest average sale price. Then they kind of increase here in the spring where we have our strongest market for the year typically, April and May being our highest. Then it tapers off in the summer months, picks back up in the fall, and then tapers off in the winter again. As we know from our experience, real estate really is a locally driven market and the trends for that will vary from neighborhood to neighborhood. So if you'd like to know what's going on in your neighborhood, just give us a call. We'd love to help. So until next time, I'm Dylan. And I'm Cease. Saying see the Silver Nagels for all your real estate needs.